It's an areological, autoerotical, tubular, bovular joy. An explosular, regional, bachelor, pouchular, fun for girl and boy. A lissimal, dorsical, hung like a horsical, caliphological ball. The most bunula, funula. Fruit of the lumula. Frenchical, tungular. Wabada, bovular, funular, bunular, fruit of the lumula, Frenchical, tungular, wabada, Oh, it's breastic, a boobical, chestic, a mammical, pendular, globular, off, a crying, a last movie sign. Anywho, back from break, here we are. Blah, 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 something, something. Mm. Demon, I don't want to worry yet. Now you can get it on camera. Mm. No one wants Eating to see them. Eating our Poritos. No one wants to see them. People opening stuff on camera. This is MSR or MSRS or MSR fucking videos. That people just do weird shit. Oh yeah. Like talk soft or scratch shit. You ever watch that? Yeah, it's sensory. Fucking weird. No I, sensory videos. That's all. I woke up to one before. I had <laughs> I, I was listening to like Corpse Husband or something. It's a YouTube channel that just Tells like fucking like true scary stories and shit like that. I'll throw headphones in and I'll fucking fall asleep to that shit. <laughs> I woke up to it like two, three, four, whatever in the morning to one of those fucking MSR videos. It was some woman giving a head massage to someone and explaining exactly what she was doing. I woke up and like, like delirious. Now like, I'm scared. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> yeah, and I'm like I look over at my phone and it's like. Just gently go around. I'm like, the fuck am I watching? What am I listening to? <laughs> and you know what's fucked? I couldn't fucking turn it off. <laughs> I woke up and I'm just watching her. I'm like, yeah, that's what it is. That she is doing that. That's right. No. It was like 12 fucking minutes. I saw one where it was... It was literally a, a scene of somebody with their lap like this. It's weird. And then all of a sudden, and I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, something's going to happen. Is there a jump scare? <laughs> I'm, so, all right, I know it's coming. Five minutes in. Video ends. This is doing real good. I know it's going to happen. About eight minutes later, I'm like, What's the longer to the end of this video? Maybe nothing happens. It's like twenty something minute long video. I'm like, and it's still, I'm, and then the hands I'm are switching. Committed. The hands are switching. So I'm all thirteen minutes into this thing. I'm like, I wait think, a minute. I think they missed their mark. I go, either this is really gonna build up the suspense, or it's not happening. Fast forward, twenty two minutes in. I'm like, there's like thirty seconds on the video. I'm like, all right, it's coming soon. It's gotta be the end. And then the lab gets moving like, what? Well, <laughs> just happened. I had a watch too. I was like, I got suckered. I'm not getting that 20 minutes back. <laughs> it's really bizarre. Yeah, and after I found out, that's like a whole thing, like a whole fucking thing. I'm like, who watches this shit? Who the fuck? But then again, who the fuck listens to shit like this? So you know, whatever. I'm fucking need you on, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, I don't know. I know sensory, the sensory, whatever. It's bizarre. That's all I know. You know what videos I like to watch? Porn? No. Fucking video game videos, you weirdo. Oh. Video game porn? <laughs> <laughs> you ever see the one with Zelda and Whip? I may have found a few. <laughs> I made one. Hundred. <laughs> thousand. Hours of <laughs> video game porn that I may. That's just on one external. Hmm. <laughs> Speaking of porn. I saw a great meme the other day. Video game podcast. Oh, here's the meme section, ladies and gentlemen. Whether we stream, or we don't stream, we record. We can't stream. Because mostly my mouth. <laughs> we do we, record. 
Once we get a little better and a little more adjusted, I think. I used to be good, but like really, the last few months, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I really don't give a shit. Blank. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. I should just do that. I'll just keep the recording and just bleep out everything I say. See, this is one thing about not having our voices there or our faces. I can just bleep out. Like, yeah. You can't even like m see what I'm mouthing or anything. <laughs> no, but um, the meme. The long bleep over that section. It <laughs> showed uh, the Pornhub, the browser search. And it goes, sorry, but you have watched everything that Pornhub has to offer. <laughs> Thanks. Get a life or something. I'm like, huh. I should make this into a meme. That's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> challenge accepted, Pornhub. Yeah, it's going to be right. a very long evening. I don't think that would even be possible. Mm. Speaking of video game movies, or video games and movies, you see the trailer for Awful. Sonic? Fuck you! Awful. No. The Sonic, as you see the, the, the design for Sonic, Yeah. like the community is pissed. Yeah, they've actually posted, we understand we... They're, they posted they're, it, and the, you see that fans actually went out of their way and actually redesigned them, like, look, look, you know, like, the video game. Because their big gripe is like, he looks like a human. And he does. The images they put out, like, his eyes are, like, just small and shit, and, like, he's... Well, dude, there's a whole trailer with Jim Carrey in it as Dr. Robotnik. I know. I, I was like, whatever. I, honestly, I'm not a huge Sonic fan anyway, so I can't... Like, my opinion is going to be sort of biased. Like, I was... Whatever. <laughs> Another video game movie that'll probably fail. Or at, at best, <laughs> break even. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's... Hold on. I don't care what anybody says. There have been some flops. Most Blood Rain. Flop. Creed. Or Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. Not the band Creed. Flop. Uh -huh. no. The band Creed kind of, too. And it, even if you... Like, I'm a fan, but... Facts are facts. Resident Evil. No. Not a great movie. None of them were really great. The first entertaining one. Entertaining as a game, as, as no. a zombie flick, and entertaining as like, okay, there are some calls to the video game, but just as a movie? I think the first one did okay, did all right by the video game, in the sense that they were trapped in an enclosed area and had to well, survive. The first one was like... The, the underground game. facility. It, yeah, it was like the first game and kind of like... The second half of part one and part two combined, like... It's like if you take Play-Doh, mix it together halfway. That's kind of like what it reminded me of. So Resident Evil 1, great movie. Honest to God. It wasn't well received, though. That's what I'm saying. Like no. None of them were ever well received. And I'm telling you right now, unless by... You know what? Actually, one I do see, and I fucking hate it, is Pikachu, the the, the Pokemon thing. Detective Pokemon. Because that will or be, Detective Pikachu. That will be. See, the thing with video game movies is they're almost all. Actually, I'd say always geared toward eighteen to thirty-five demographic male, and that's why they flop. But Pokemon is going to gear it toward what it was geared toward in the 90s when it came out, and that's fucking kids. And it will, it ain't going to be a blockbuster, but it will succeed. I, I can almost oh, guarantee yeah. it. Legendary's putting it out, and that pisses me off. Well, no, you know why? Because every time I go on Legendary's website to get Godzilla information, because I'm a fucking Godzilla mark, yeah. it's got Pikachu every other fucking thing. Or, God damn it. It's like, I want to see this shit. I want to see fucking Big G. Get out of here. Fucking Pika dick. <laughs> Hate you, yellow fucker. Made me sound racist. <laughs> <laughs> no. The movie, I think it's going to be a good movie. But, Wait, get of, Detective Pikachu. So, oh, okay. And not because, do you know why that's going to be so good? You know why they're going to gear that towards kids? Because it works. Because, A, it works, and because... You could put out a shit movie geared toward kids. kids are what like, storyline is it to follow? I have no idea. I don't know anything about Pokemon. I just know Pokemon came out after I had left that, like, thing. That, like, kids thing. I was, like, gone from that The thing. whole Pokemon story. Pokemon came out right when it, like, that got hot when I, like, started to get into, like, Insane Clown Posse and fucking, like, ACDC and I'm like, yeah, and Raw, the fucking Attitude Era wrestling. I got into that, Pokemon blew up. 
I didn't give a shit about Pokemon. The whole story behind Pokemon I was is like, I was you're a trainer. About stable, showing her boobs on fucking raw. I was like hot boobs, um, fake but hot. Um, no, you're a trainer who catches Pokemon and wins gym badges. Well, I don't have it. So you have a fucking wide variety. You have a godforsaken gaping gash of opportunity to stick it in and get it to work. Here's the thing, though. Mario did, too. And look at that disaster. There yes and no. A plumber that went around. And we were talking about that movie came out in, what, 94? 94. Yeah, it was like 92, 93. So remember that? Uh, early, yeah, 92, it was, 93. It was early 90s. So, Super Mario World had just come out, but it was the same thing. It was, it was a plumber in this magical fucking dino world trying to save a princess, board to board. There wasn't any of these other crazy Mario games that are out there now. None oh. of that story. So you had a lot of source material, Boy. a lot of characters, and but they're to build on, and they did, and they fucking sucked. But here's the thing. Awful. Do you think Nintendo would have taken the direction they did with the Mario games that they have gone to now, Mario Sunshine, Mario Odyssey, if someone didn't try to come up with another, like a whole different concept of what could possibly be in the Mario universe because of that movie? Yes. I don't think a movie had anything to do with that. I think a studio got a hold and be like, Mario's a huge thing, huge in gaming community. This could be gold. This should be easy money. Because back then, how many video games mo movies were there? There was... Uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, Wizard. No, Mortal Kombat was 94, 95. 95, uh -huh. I think it was. Maybe, yeah. Uh, there was The Wizard in 89, which did Mario average. 3. Um, there was... What was that uh, game... Fuck, it was, it was before The Wizard. Tron? No. That was another one, though. Well, no, that wasn't really a video game movie. That was that was the, the, the CG, if you want to call that back then, just happened to look like a video game from back in the 80s. That was yeah, but the video game was already out. That wasn't a true video game movie. What was the other one? It was uh, not War Room or War Doom something or other. It was the 80s. I cannot fucking remember it. Who stars in it? I couldn't even tell. Ferris Bueller's Day Off? No. What? Matthew Broderick? Yeah. No, he's not in it. Um, are you talking... Oh, my God. No, my phone's right there. But whatever. Anyway. So, yeah. There, there wasn't... I mean, it's really not important to what I'm trying to point Megan. There wasn't a lot of video game movies up to that point. So, when... When Mario came out, like, the studio just saw, like, this huge, like, franchise, because Mario was, like, it was getting to that point where it was huge. It was a mascot for a system, like, basically mm -hmm. a company. Or it was, it is a mascot company. So they saw that and be like, okay, this should be guaranteed money. It's huge. It sells big. Now, don't you think, like, everyone want to fucking see it on the big screen? I mean, there was the Mario cartoon, which was, eh. Hmm. Um, Captain Lou Albano played Mario. In the live action scenes, <laughs> they should have just kept those actors for the movie, and it would have been fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but so yeah, they they had this awesome cast: John Leguizamo as Luigi, and uh, what's his face from fucking Roger Rabbit and whatever. Oh, the uh, detective. Yeah, yep. I cannot remember his name, but awesome actor. And they had, um, who played Koopa? Uh, Anthony. No, Anthony Hopkins. Um. Oh my god. He was a one eyed guy in Waterworld, too. Anyway. So, yeah, they had this awesome cast. It'll pop in our heads in 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, I know. Right? I just randomly say it, but. Yeah, they had this awesome cast, and it flopped. It flopped because they had so much source material. Well, they had a lot of like characters they could draw from, and the story they came up with was. Well, there's a few things. The story was stupid. Um, Koopa did not look like fucking Koopa or Bowser, whatever. The dinosaurs in it were whatever they were. That t those tiny head things or whatever. Like it was the Goombas. Yeah. Yeah. They were fucking like awful. They looked awful. 
<laughs> they could have taken that movie and taken all those designs. Yoshi with everything. their fucking mini uh, yeah. raptor. They could have taken all those designs and all the characters in that movie, called them something else, wrote a different story, and then made just its own movie. And they probably should have did that. Same thing with the Godzilla 98 movie. That was an awesome monster movie. It was not a fucking good Godzilla movie because that was not Godzilla. If you took that and just changed the look, and not even have to change the look, just don't call him Godzilla. Call him something else. Call him like, what the fuck is this dragon iguana thing? But that's just... A- and, and just made it its own movie. Like, I think it would have gotten more well-received than it did. But the thing is, is like, much like any any fan base to any like Star Wars or Marvel comics not movies but comics they expect this this character has been in the public eye for at that point it was 44 44 years and that movie came out oh yeah this is what Godzilla looks like or some version of that and what they got was a iguana an oversized T-Rex. Nowhere in any history of Godzilla was there any reference to an iguana. Ever. <laughs> and just the point, it's like... Yeah. They should have just called it a different movie. Same thing with Mario. They should have just made it a different movie. Yes, there have been some flops. So those are the early ones, yes. But then, but then you fast forward, and then you got Assassin's Creed. Didn't they come out with a sequel movie or something? Not yet. No, okay, no. Tomb Raider, one and two, I'm sorry. With Angelina Jolie, those were good movies. I don't care what was, anybody says. Tomb Raider was an exception, but here's... And, then, and that's fine. I didn't really... Eh, but that was this around the same time when X-Men came out, like when they first came out in 2000. Yeah. I was never really big on X Men. It was sucked because I loved the X Men cartoon in the nineties. Yes. I was I was an X Men person. And then they came out the movie and I was like, Okay. Eh. I just wasn't like hooked to it like a lot of people were. And it makes me like I am saying this and I feel like I'm one of those guys like I didn't like it. Like just fucking hate on everything. And I really don't. But like I just wasn't big on <laughs> I wasn't big on X Men, the movies. No, they And it sucked because like even now, like the X Men movies that come out, they're just not that great. It's like when Apocalypse came out, I'm like, that's a fucking massive heel. That's a wrestling term. That's a massive villain. This should be awesome, and it wasn't. And I've I was yet to see it. So disappointed. I'm like, ugh. it, it like it, it started. It had like this the, the the foundation and the structure, and it just it just didn't really pay off. Kind of like Justice League. <laughs> like, how do you fuck that up? It's like the cage match with the turtles and everything. It's like oh. four against fucking one. There's no way you can fuck this up, and they did. <laughs> the Justice League. There is literally eighty fucking plus years of material to pull from. Eighty fucking years of character development, and you fuck it up. Batman v Superman should have been one of the top fucking highest grossing films of all time and it didn't even crack fucking 900 million. <laughs> I was yeah, like, I know. How do you fuck that up? I don't know. Meanwhile, fucking Endgame comes out and breaks over a billion dollars in one weekend. Yeah, I know. Marvel's just like, this is easy. <laughs> Thanks for the baby. Even with their small <laughs> even with their small movies. It's stupid. Anyway, I, this is way off topic now. But was all right. Video game movies no, that's cool. There's, no. there's, like I said, there's some that like, at best they break even and they're okay and they're, you know, it's fun to watch. Like Mortal Kombat's fucking terrible movie. I fucking love it. It's an awesome movie to watch. As a movie, awful, <laughs> horrible, horrible story. Like some part acting, especially for the people that are in it. Oh come on, no. Whoever wrote that script <laughs> should be fucking Castro. <laughs> like I, I, oh god. Uh, no. The sequel, Annihilation. I'll give you that one. That like shat the bad guy fucking, from some fucking I forgot what Chuck Norris film it was. I don't know, but the, <laughs> that that's like that should have shot out of my dick. Like fucking. <laughs> oh god. That, that no, is, Mortal Kombat that was just one. about as pleasing as a needle in your peel. Uh, That's no, Mortal Kombat was. 1, I, honest to God, think did a good job. You literally had a dialogue. All right, so the game, right? 
Just James out of curiosity, who are you looking at when everyone's over here? <laughs> what? Oh. I'm looking at the wrong people. Sorry. <laughs> There's no one over there. Um, this... Bear with me, folks. Mortal Kombat 1. It's gotta be you. <clears throat> you literally had dun 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 dialogue coming up on the screen. Dun dun dun. Awesome. Ready, fight! That's it! Oh, the game? Yeah. yeah. So when you try to make a movie off that, it's okay, well, alright, there's a tournament that this dude Shang Tsung runs. So how does he get people here? He recruits. Ah. Cause it's not like people just go up and say, Hey, you wanna fight for the realm of the earth? Mm. <laughs> yeah, no, you got to get. Hey, Will. You gotta, <laughs> <laughs> what about four hundred one k? Profit sharing? Mm, no health insurance. Got it. No, but seriously, I, I, I don't care. I think the first one did a good job. The only thing they messed up in that gate, that movie, was reptile. And I'm not saying yeah, the they CG messed up. Small thing. Yes. Yeah, I didn't really. Because. Anybody who follows, anybody anybody who's been in the gaming world or involved in the gaming world as much as we have, or I have, I like to take pride in that. Um, I have followed the Mortal Kombat saga for a long time. Sub-Zero, Smoke, Noob Sabat, Ermac, Rain, Reptile, the Ninjas... Either it's Lin Kuei. Magic, magic, ninjas, what? what? Magic, magic, ninjas, what? Belly rub. Who's got the big, big oil? All right, you're getting off time. <laughs> it's the second time I fucking reference ICP ninjas <laughs> two days in a row on this. Um, but that was the only part they messed up. Because, yes, Reptile, in the game, he could spit acid. But he was more of a humanoid reptile, not something that gets transformed into the ninja. Not an a, a overgrown fucking gecko that falls into a statue, which I don't fucking care what anybody says. That was like the best. I don't care. That was the best fucking fight scene in that whole movie. Um, when fucking reptile comes, he goes, reptile. Yeah. And if da -da 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 -da, he kicks fucking Luke Kang through a six foot fucking thick brick wall. Um. What the fuck Mortal Kombat game did I have back in college? Mortal Kombat 4? No. No. Um, The one where you created your character. Yeah. Oh, God. What was that? Oh. It wasn't Ultimate. It wasn't it, Trilogy. It, no, it was the, the, the storyline. What was it? The storyline was basically, it was the pyramid, was in the video, like they were fighting their way up the pyramid. Yeah. And Blaze was at the top, I remember. He was like the like ultimate. The bad. sun god. Oh god, which one was that? Wow. This fucking podcast is full of just fucking roadblocks and we're just we're just uh, striking out left and right. <laughs> oh, hold on. I can't remember. But that that fucking I will go out and that had well, that was probably one of the largest fucking rosters for Mortal Kombat. It had zombie Liu Kang and I think they had a version of a uh, Motaro that was not a horse though. Yes. Yeah. Which I was, I think that was really the only thing with that game that I was like, well, all right. Mortal Kombat X. No. No, okay. No, that that just came out a couple years ago, like three, four, or five years ago. No, we got to go on, back like fifteen on. years, man. What Mortal Kombat had the character Blaze in it? Deadly Alliance. It wasn't Deadly Alliance. 
Armageddon. Yes. Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Armageddon. As the final boss of Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Yes. Armageddon. I will go out right now on record. I will say Mortal Kombat Armageddon is the best fucking Mortal Kombat ever. Just for the fact that you could create your own combat character. Oh jeez. I was so when I fucking I am huge when it comes to video games. I am huge on customizing whatever. Huge on it. I, on wrestling games, I will fucking spend four fucking hours customizing. He will too, folks. This motherfucker. If you go up, hey James, make me a character. Three days later, you remember when I fucking made on Legends uh, of WrestleMania and he fucking looks. I think I still have that picture. He fucking looks like you. Yeah. I made him. It's just a. Flip I get a like, call uh -huh. like three days later. No joke. It wasn't even because you know. What the no, fucking part was it took me like two days. Whatever. Minutes. It took like ten minutes to make that. I would spend, I could f spend fucking hours on me, and my face would look like me, but on a fucking Fabio, like, <laughs> and like, I was like, that looks way too good. No, hold on. I fucking spent 10 minutes on him, and it looks exactly like So, a, I, I call this guy, he tells me about the game. Yeah, I go, all right, he's like, I'm gonna make a wrestler. I'm like, all right, make me one too. Calls me back like two days later. Oh, I got your character done. I'm like, oh yeah? I go over to his house. Motherfucker looks like he hasn't slept, showered. Maybe jerked off once, twice. No, that's normal. But yeah, he goes, look at my character, and he's showing me. I'm like, oh, looks dressed all right. exactly like me. Face doesn't look. <laughs> Took like me like ten, eleven hours to make him. <laughs> no, oh, I can see the resemblance. And now look at you. Took me like ten minutes. Stupid. It's fucking perfect. <laughs> perfect. So that when I used to wear jean shorts, because back on that never. My Daisy time. Dukes. <laughs> no, the back in the two thousand never existed. Year, <laughs> um, jean shorts were cool. <laughs> jean shorts. Slide across my fucking General Lee. <laughs> <laughs> jean shorts were never cool. Um, no. And yeah, so when Mortal Kombat Armageddon came out, and I was like, "You create your own fighter." I'm like, "So." No. And I bought it, and I was like, "This." Is I think it was funny. I brought it up to college. You can make like the. I remember. <laughs> I made my guys so that looked like me in college with the red hoodie and the fucking uh, silver sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> I pull out a fucking huge fucking sword, but had like the little sword moves to it, so we spun around super fucking fast. <laughs> it's like you pull out of my fucking hoodie pocket. Like, the fuck that come from? <laughs> Sorry, just pull this out. That game was fucking awesome. Excuse me while I went this out. <laughs> <gasps> I, uh, I think character generating, it's got to be, it depends on the game. Two. Baraka was introduced. Awesome. Okay, who was the four-armed beast in the first one? Goro. Kentaro. In the first one? Goro. Oh, wait, Kentaro. Mr. Video Game Guru. Oh, no, 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 no. Kentaro no, no. was number two. Yeah, I'm sorry. This the tiger strike fucker. Fucking failing already. Jesus Fuck Christ. you. <laughs> My head's wrapped. No. I, that was one of the most undersold characters Noob, of all time. New was in the background on the first one. I think. When you face Goro or something like that. And one of the dungeons. In the sewer, no. You can see him in the background or some shit like that. I don't believe so. I almost want to say, is it one or two? Because Noob's, I would say two, not one. Because one was very, there was no hidden characters. No, there was no hidden characters, but he was in the background. No, 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 but I mean, there was no Easter eggs, there was no nothing. That was the nice thing about number one. There have been people, hold on. Hold on. Oh, no, I can't remember. I got you. Like, fucking 30 years ago, I don't remember. What Mortal Kombat did Noob Sabot appear in first? According to Wikipedia, Noob Saibot is a fictional character from the Mortal Kombat Hidden Fighting character series. in Mortal Kombat. He debuted as an unplayable hidden character in Mortal Kombat 2, in which he was a black silhouette of the game's other male ninjas, and made his first selectable appearance in the console told you it wasn't of Mortal Kombat 3. Because I remember. I remember. I remember. I can't. I couldn't remember what one was in. I remember him. He was in a background somewhere. He was the silhouette. He was the silhouette that would move on its own. Yeah, he was one of the ninjas, like she said, one of the ninja shadows, and would you would see this. He would appear out of like a pillar or some shit like that. Would... My, when it comes to, the, I don't know. Of all the ninjas, of all the ninjas, I like the magic ninjas. I don't know. 
know, oh, man. Like, Sergio, Sergio Valente. Get off it. <laughs> if I, I don't know. I see. I can't separate the movie now. Because every time I think about uh, ninjas, I think of Reptile being the best. Because I'm sorry, Mortal Kombat 1, he fucking owns Liu Kang. He does. Oh, no. Yeah. And if Liu Kang didn't get that cheap shot. Here you go. What, what of all the ninjas, discluding the cybernetic ones, they don't what is the shittiest fucking ninja? <laughs> Rain. <laughs> I actually think Ermac. Ermac? No, he has the necromancy. I, I always thought he was shitty. Rain, I, I want to say, was I, the Rain one that... Rain is they, an emo ninja. <laughs> Rain was the one, if I remember correctly... He's a purple one. Yes, that's right. He was the one that I think they were trying to capitalize. Ooh, everyone loves ninjas. Because Sub-Zero and Scorpion... For God's sakes, they got their own games. Yeah, they, they. Mortal Kombat had its own. Sub Zero well, got its sort own. Sort of. Game. It was still Mortal Kombat, it was just kind of like featuring. <laughs> and, and then Sub Zero. You know what's funny? Liu Kang was like always put on the pedestal for Mortal Kombat, and he yeah. never got his own fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> no, Come on, he's, guys. He's supposed to be the hero of every fucking Mortal Kombat. <laughs> no, and he never got his own game. But that's just it. Like I was saying, Rain. Rain, I think, was the capitalized. Ooh, cash grab. Everyone loves Sub Zero and Scorpion. We created other ninjas other than Reptile. You know, we created uh, Ermac and uh, Noob Sabat, or Noob Sabat, then Ermac. Ermac, Noob Sabat. Smoke. Smoke. Human, well, human smoke. Um, Rain. Okay, hold on. Zero. Because the, first, the original ninjas. 18 different Sub Zeros. Scorpion. The original Z ninjas all looked like Mortal Kombat 2 ninjas. Right. Sub Zero was blue. Scorpion was orange. Reptile was green. Ermat was red. Noob Sabat was straight black. He had the ninja outfit, but he was straight like smoke. Had the ninja outfit, black yeah, under yeah, gray. gray. Yeah, it was that. But Rain was, was, was it Noob or Noob Sabat? Because was Noob Sabat one of the uh, cybernetic no, ones? No, Noob Sabat is his name. Was it? That's yeah. fucking always confused. Like I always fucking mix that up in my head. Because then all of a sudden, like he was Noob. Like, noob. Noob is a short. That's just how they said his name. But then, like they had Noob Sabat, which is a fucking cybernetic one. Noob Sabat. Hold on. That's, well, thank God Google. According to Wikipedia, Noob Saibot is a fictional Saibot. character from the Mortal Kombat fighting game series. Yeah, he did. Uh, we already read that part. Um, no. There was no cybernetic version of Noob Saibot. Saibot. No? No, there was never. There was just Smoke? Smoke, Cyrax, and Sector. There's no other one? Correct. I stopped playing after... Actually, I think after Ultimate. Or Armageddon. Yeah, no, after... And they're not considered... I'm sorry. People might consider them ninjas. No, I'm not trying to argue with anybody out there, but I've never considered them ninjas. What, the they were ones? No, the robots. Yeah. They... The cybernetic fighters. They were created by the ninja clans to take out the other clan members. Yeah. Well, they're... They're ninjas, but I don't really... I, I'm not... I talk about the Lin Kuei or whatever fucking group they're in. Fucking K-Day, whatever. No, I'm talking about the human or human-ish ones. <laughs> like, Scorpion really can't. Scorpion, rec, uh, reptile, they're not well, really human. But they look it when their masks are on. <laughs> funny little fun fact that a lot of people don't know. The whole beef between those two? That was Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung convinced Scorpion that Sub-Zero killed his entire clan, family and clan. You know what would have been awesome? What? If Incod had put out a fighting game, but designed Ooh. Incod, Incod Dito. Oh, yeah. If they put out a fighting game, but designed the story arc and the, the cutscenes to be just like Twisted Metal. If they like took Twisted Metal and Mortal Kombat and like mixed them together, all right, that would be really like fun, dark, cartoony, interesting. Yeah, that'd, that'd be awesome. Too shy. I'll give you that. I wish they fucking still existed. I really want a sequel to War of the Monsters, damn it. Mm. 
I really enjoy that. Damn it. And I'll never get I it. wouldn't mind a fresh it Twisted Metal video game. When's the last one they came out with? Twisted Metal Black. That was it. Really? Yep. That long ago? Jeez. They came out... It was two systems ago. I was going to say, they came out with a remat... No. They re-released it for, like, availability, but that's about it. Yeah. I mean a fresh, a brand new one. Nope. That game, when it first came out, you remember? They, You know, they would have to rehaul that game big time, because I don't think it would do well. Like, that game had its, like, time, but... They would have to re like update a lot to that to really make it hit. No, basically like a War of the Monsters video game. That's it. But that's like an open world fighting game, and uh, that's not even really an open. It's an arena fighting game. Yeah. Well, that's what Twisted Metal is, but like even War of the Monsters now, that that's a very niche thing. Like so, it's, if if they wanted it to be big, like they'd have to rehaul, like overhaul that big time. But I think regardless of which, even if they tried. Who owns the rights to all that stuff now? Does anybody buy the rights to all that? No, they sit. Because they shelf life, they shelf them. Twisted Metal, War of the Monsters, Warhawk. Who the fuck else? There's another. A lot of games like that. They were all under incognito. A lot of games like that you won't see ever get done anything with because they will shelf them. They will sit them on the shelf, and should they ever need, or ever, I hate to say it like this, okay, if they ever get enough of a fan draw for it, to come back. Like, look at the new Final Fantasy VII coming out. The new Final Fantasy VII, they just came out with 15 two years ago, which is a fucking amazing game, by the way. Final Fantasy VII was the most iconic, not the best, I don't care what anybody says. It was another Final Fantasy when it comes to that. The reason it is hailed as like the pinnacle of what Final Fantasies could have ever been is because it was the first three-dimensional version. It wasn't some like the, the it was on the PlayStation. But the reason I bring it up there has been such a draw for that to come back on the modern system. It's literally like people who don't even touch RPGs are getting on with the bandwagon now. That's like, yeah, that's the fan base, like speaking out. There's, I've seen the same thing with uh, War of the Monsters. There's websites out there that have actually kind of like drawing board like concept drawings and everything of entire games characters and stories of a sequel to war of the monsters it was like mm. fucking people are talking it's like just put the damn game out like come off like i would love to see that game designed the same well the gameplay be the same like the uh, there wasn't much of a learning curve or anything it was pretty it was fairly fucking straightforward yes, go in and hit square it ends. yeah like it, it was fair i mean there was some i say complex controls wasn't really it was like a hit this and then that to do this you know or maybe these two at the same time it was so fucking easy to play but it was so fun to play uh, everything was destroyed like you could, the entire environment was interactable everything could be Open destroyed. world destruction yes like if you did that now like the graphics you don't even have to make it fucking like you know, Battlefront graphics or Red Dead Redemption 4G. you don't have or 4K to, yeah you don't have to make them that intricate like make it like, like like it was then. It was like sort of cartoony, but like it just it looks good. Like make it like that and make this fucking like large roster and a fucking creative player, and like it could be it would be a sleeper hit. It wouldn't be this blockbuster game. It would be a game that existed like in the corner, but would be constantly fucking bought and played and played and played. Yeah, but unless they can hit. make their money back with like. And that's my fucking. It, I have such Release a problem. sales. I have such a fucking problem with corporations nowadays. The, you, you know, and you see it in Hollywood too, in movies. If a studio doesn't see instant bank and gratification, they will not fucking put the green light. You know how hard it was for them to like give Deadpool the green light. They worked on that movie for fucking six years before it got the okay. Six fucking years. 
And literally, Ryan it's Reynolds It's the second highest fucking R, like, R rating movie, grossing movie of all time. What the fuck I'm trying to say? Second highest rating. Six years because well, they like, were like, like uh, I don't know. Like Wade Wilson works. said, we, whose balls did I have to find those? No, <laughs> yeah. We did beat them domestically. We, well, we, didn't, we beat them overseas, but not domestically. Passion of the Christ, Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, hello there. That's just it. I though. know, right? If a false, I had the fun to get my very own movie. There's so there, there are so many ideas out there that could be fucking gold, but because studio heads are such good fucking like marks and geeks and everything, they know what the fuck we want. Clearly, yeah. that's why I'm sitting here talking about this because someone else is making exactly what I'm griping right now. If I fucking turn on my internet tomorrow and I go on, there's a trailer for Mortal Monsters 2. I just fucking ate my words. And I hope that happens. I hope to be an asshole right now, but <laughs> there's Can't so much really gold out you. there that could happen and doesn't. And but it rhymes with Pulverine. <laughs> yeah. uh, it, fucking like video games and movies. The like that's early days See, of horror was the awesome problem because is, it'd be like, all right, we'll take a chance on it, and nobody fucking takes chances anymore. Nobody. The problem is we're speaking literally. We are trying to keep a broad perspective, but there is... We are a little biased in that sense that I would love to see a, a fucking ton of sequels. Let me give you all the ones I want to see and then tell you other ones that might work. Yeah, but... It's just the way of the world. Here's the thing, though. and I shouldn't, I shouldn't go completely off, especially in video games. Movies is more so like corporations not greenlighting because, well, there's independent filmmakers, but there's indie game designers. Brawlhalla is one of them, where they didn't make a penny off it unless you buy shit. But here's the thing. People put that out there. Game's free to download, but you have to buy all the characters. Otherwise, it rotates. Microtransactions. And, and people get... No, there's microtransactions, which is EA... Those fucking greedy fuckers. Oh, uh, Rockstar too. Yes, that, I'm not like discluding anyone. Bungie, this, exa- this just you know whatever. But then there's like Brawlhalla and everything, and all these smaller games which you can fucking download and play for free. But if you wanted extra shit, like and not game breaking shit, just characters or, or availability. Yeah, or skins, you pay for it. You put that in, and fucking people just go in an uproar. It's like, well, these well, fucking, guess what? These developers take fucking hundreds of hours, if not thousands, out of their day to make this. They have, you know, bills to pay. That's why I was like, fuck, I'll give them 20, 30 bucks of my money. It's like, take it. Like, the well, game's fucking awesome. Yes and no. Like, and this is where the independent developer com- genre is that much better in that sense, because you actually don't have to spend money in Brawl. No, you don't. You can unlock every character with your coins. Yeah. I could buy like five fucking characters right now. The only yeah, for basic characters, you don't have to spend a dime. But I was completely okay with it just because I was impressed with the game. I was like, this is a fun game. Yeah. A simple fun game. I got it for free. Here you go. Here's my twenty bucks. I hate to bring it up, but Fortnite too, that's another one. I just you know, Completely free. The only thing of Fortnite is like I'm just I'm not really into the arena thing. Well, it's not even that. It's an open world. It's an open map kind of concept. Well, that's what the ar- well, I mean, not arena. Um, battle Royale. Mm. Just because that's like when we were trying to film shit with uh, Red Dead Redemption and stuff. And every now and again, well, every now and again, it's like every other fucking time we played, we get stuck like in a gun fucking battle with people passing by, just being yeah. assholes. <laughs> and like I just that really that it started with Grand Theft Auto, and at least in my eyes, that's where I really saw it. Could have started somewhere else, but people just went from playing the game to war. That's yeah, fine. Grand okay. Theft Auto Five, for but me then too. Grand Theft Auto really like saw that, and you know they created a whole genre and it's going strong. So all props to them, I guess. But Rockstar was like, let's let's give them another military vehicle. Let's let's give them one more and add like, well they can add like this rocket launcher too and this heat seeking thing. Well let's give them this fucking Kanjali. Fuck it. Here's a fucking hovering bike that shoots missiles. There's laser guns now. There's fucking laser guns in the game. There's like, there's Kanjali's that fucking like, it goes invisible and fucking shoots dicks out its ass and shit and like fucking right in your eyeballs. They got things flopping around. Like, 
<laughs> they just went crazy with it. Like, ah, I'm out. <laughs> and on, that, and on top of that, and the money it costs to buy this shit, it's like here's a new tank, twenty million dollars. Like, fuck. Yeah, man. twenty million in-game dollars. I gotta, you can only get a fucking one point five million dollar yeah. shark card for twenty fucking dollars. It's like you have to like grind for fucking two hundred hours. And then here's the best part, which this just makes my head spin. Now I just feel like I'm ranting because I am. Not really. If you go on Grand Theft Auto's like Facebook page, like fan Facebook page and stuff, there are two types of fans. There's Type A, which is the the hardcore grinder and everything, and there's Type B, which is me, which is like I don't want to fucking spend forty fucking hours in the next two days grinding to buy a fucking sports car. I don't. And if you say that on one of these things, these hardcore, oh my these God. hardcore fans are like, well, just get good. So like, you got to work for it. Here's the thing. And this is going to blow some of your mind. I have, have a family. Mind. Some yeah. of them mind. I have a family. I have a full-time job. I'm a member of a fire department on top of the full-time job. I have a business I run here. Not including this. This is just bullshit stuff I do. But I have a business of re-leathering shit and doing all that stuff that takes fucking 10 hours of belt average. I have a life outside of video games. I don't pay for a video game to play a life in a video game in my life in real life. That's not the point of video games to me. Maybe I'm fucking insane. Please tell me if I am. I don't want to fucking work a 40 hour week in Grand Theft Auto so I can shut it off and go work a 40 hour week <laughs> in real life. That's not really the reason why I play video games. My reason to play video games, and maybe I'm fucking insane, is to get out of reality. It's not just a few hours. <laughs> not, not to fucking turn it on and be like, what are you doing today? Oh, I gotta work. <laughs> That's fucking stupid. I gotta knock out like 18 heists today so I can and buy like a new bike. Trying to explain this to GTA Marks is like trying to fucking teach a dead fucking language to an infant. It's so here's the thing. I'll just preach to a door. You're not insane. <laughs> at least I can open it up and walk through. <laughs> You're not insane. And here's my, here's my, this is my theory. This is actually, I'm going to drop a little bit of my belief and my sort of way of looking at this. Fuck you fanboys. <laughs> just have to get that out. That's okay. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> there's different degrees. There's Okay, so you've got different levels of gamers. Within each level is a different degree. So you're talking level one, which is the I turn it on once every once in a while, play a race, play a death match, steal a car, and then it shuts it off. Then you got level two, who literally will play every couple of days, kind of sticks with one game, plays through it, knocks it out. That was a fun game. I might revisit it on to the next one. Then you got level three. Now this guy, this is the guy that'll try to play every day. He'll play other games, but he centralizes around one to five video games primarily. Five, but jeez. Well, I mean, I'm like a 2.5 then, because I centralize pretty much around two, maybe three, if I'm out of my fucking mind. <laughs> so please tries to play every day, but he centralizes around one to five video games at a rip. <laughs> and, <laughs> That's 11 years and growing. <laughs> I know. Like, I've, been, kids. I've been sitting on this shit for fucking 11 years too, would you? I won't That's, get rid of it. Anyway. Um, but I'm not talking like one genre. Like myself, for instance, I've been back into the Final Fantasy VII game. I've got about 47 hours of playtime into it. But I've also been playing the game for the last three fucking months. While I've been playing Brawlhalla. While I've been playing Fortnite, while I've been putting back in Grand Theft Auto Five every now and again, while I've been dabbling in Destiny, while I'm also playing Prominence Poker, uh, For Honor, I'm playing all these games just to kind of have fun with it, but stay true, like involved in particular. Then you got like level four, Le the next level guy, whatever, the next level gamer, where this motherfucker. We'll play one to two games max. One to two games max. It used to be that. For a minimum of four to six hours a day. 
Warhawk. I was fucking beyond that. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm just saying a base. Now, here's where the degrees start coming in. You got degree one. You got your level. You, Did okay. you write this down as bullet points or something? No. One day be like, I'm going to have to make a point of this someday. I don't know when. No, no. This is how I've always felt. <laughs> you got extremists. We'll call them left wing, right wing. Right wing. So you got your left wing level four player, level five player. This is where you tune game. out politics. <laughs> so you got your left wing guy who I just want to have fun with the game. I, I'll grind if there's a purpose and it suits me and if I have the availability of time. But I'm not going to sit here and spend four hours doing one thing to accomplish something that's so un un unnecessary. And then you got the right wing guy who it's oh god now you don't play as good as I then you're not as into the game as I am if you're not playing absolutely right <laughs> and then you got the last level guy who is fucking one game and we have all ran into this motherfucker plays this game religiously for 8 to 10 hours a day <laughs> every day and this dude's probably got rewind the clock about an hour or so and we talk about some guy like <laughs> I'm better now. Oh, uh, I'll be in the corner kicking the cat. <laughs> this motherfucker right here is the guy who never stops playing this game. He gets it on the next gen. He gets it on the next gen because he can't get away from that game. <laughs> I have War of the Monsters on PS2 disc, PS3 downloaded, PS4 downloaded. <laughs> I don't play it that much though. It's sad. No, there's there's different levels of gaming gamer to me. I I consider myself an avid gamer, somewhere between a level three and a level four, if my levels are correct, if I remember correctly from what I just explained. Um, I play. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Where am I? <laughs> but in the same breath, the reason I'm not like I won't sit there and put 10, 12 hours into a day of gaming. I used to. Me too. In all honesty, if you add up all the hours from Final Fantasy 1, 2, slash, no, 1, 2, 3, slash, 4, 5, slash, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 2, I never played 11 because I didn't believe in the online concept, 12, 13, 13, 2, 13, Lightning Returns, I never played 14, that was another online version. Didn't get into it. And 15. <laughs> oh my god. It's like fucking Game of Thrones now. Like, no way. <laughs> way just, in just in Final Fantasy 10 and 7 alone. The first time I beat the game, I had just over 100 hours. The second time I beat the game, I had almost over 200. I had, yeah, I broke 200 hours. In total, I probably put about 400 hours into Final Fantasy VII now. 2,998 minutes. The entire runtime for the entire cinematic universe of Marvel. I don't know why that just popped into my head, but it did. It's okay. <laughs> then, that's just the one game. Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy X and X-2. I, I probably got the same amount of game time. Like 200? Oh, probably 400. Because in Final Fantasy X... They introduced the sphere grid, which was your leveling up system, your your next your next your next uh, your next uh, health boost, strength boost. You could learn your next magic ability, your cure, fire, whatever, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you could level them up. When that come out? Oh, Final Fantasy X came out on the PlayStation Two, early two thousand. 2001. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, is World of... This is off topic. But, eh, whatever. It's about it's video games. Is World of Warcraft still a thing? Yes. Is it? Did anyone really hear yep. about it? Remember 2001. That, I was right. Remember when that shit was fucking like... No, 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 no. Hold on really quick before I forget. So, Final Fantasy X... Play through it, level up every fucking character, beat every monster, every boss, every mini boss, whatever. Then they killed the character, the the, the another lead character. They didn't kill him. He disappeared. 
Just like that. <laughs> Thank oh you, God, Thanos. A precursor. Thank you, Thanos. And that's literally what happens. He goes out of the ocean with Luna. He did. And all, of, and all of a sudden, she's holding him, and... Ten two comes out. Ten two comes out. In Final Fantasy ten, two. part two, yeah. Was it part two or was it just sequel? Two? It was a sequel two. Sequel two. Why don't they just call it eleven? Because they didn't. That's not how video games work. Exactly. Of course not. God, that's you're not so how movies work either. God, you're so. Oh, that would make fucking sense. So this is Shut why you bring me in to talk about up. the video games. So, <laughs> wait, is that logical? Yes. Shut up. <laughs> so. Final Fantasy X-2 comes out. <laughs> 10 <and laughs> Suck a dick. Suck a cunt. <laughs> Language. No, finish fucking her the fuck up already. Language. Suck a cunt. <laughs> so, Ten Two comes out, and you have to literally play this. It was, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be a misogynist or sexist or whatever. Yes. It was... Girl power. That's stupid. three female lead characters. That's all you got. No additional characters. Which for a Final Fantasy game, they dropped the ball on it. Oh, so you mean when you fucking push a political agenda and entertainment, it doesn't work? Ghostbusters. Wow. Who fucking saw that coming? Ghostbusters. 2016. Exactly. Huh. Did they correct it the next time around? Final Fantasy 11. Hmm. I didn't play that one. 12 they did because they had people who had rabbit tails and pointy ears Furries. as playable characters. Fuck me running. Well, no, they were they identified as rabbit people. Whatever, they're furries. <laughs> Fucking furries in a So you but here's the thing. I had to play that game twice. And here's why. There was two endings. The good ending, you get Titus back, or the bad ending. Titus. 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 T I. Furry named Titus. No, this is this is gold. I would I would have loved to have been around that round table when they're fucking thinking about this game. So so how do we how do we make this original? What are you watching, Clarence? Give me your phone. The fuck is this? They're animals fucking people in animal costumes. Let's do that. Meeting over. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, I had to play that game twice because I got the good ending where I got Titus back and then I had, I had heard about the bad ending where you didn't get him back and I'm like, oh, well, time to figure that ending out. And I beat it again with the bad ending. Long story short. So what were we talking about before? I don't even remember. I think that's a good place to end this. We just did like two fucking full the political No, hold on. It's like a two-hour shoot. The political agenda? No, because there was a game we were talking about. Oh, World of Warcraft. Yes. Oh, my God. That's still a thing. They actually just came out with a new game. It's not as big as it used to be. No. I remember when that, that like, the, what, 2006, 7, 8, around It was World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft versus Diablo. It was insanity. They had fucking... You were one or the other. Well... There was another, there was another uh, movie <laughs> made out of World of Warcraft that uh, we don't hear about that anymore, do we? I'm just waiting for something to happen now. Yeah, I'm sure they were at the studio too, and they realized it wasn't going to happen. Ah! Fucker baby to the punch. No, that was that. Even you know what's sad? That's how this whole fucking thing got started. Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> That's how this whole fucking hour-long conversation or segment got started. Sonic. Make the two so podcast. we're going to go back, and I'm going to say this just to finish that question and just end this fucking recording. I did see the trailer. I'm not a fucking Sonic fan, so I can't really give... I can't give a clear opinion on it because I've never... I played Sonic. It was okay. I was always a Mario person. And we know what they did with that fucking <laughs> movie. But just, even though Jim Carrey playing Dr. Robotnik, is he Eggman or is he Robotnik? I, they don't say his name in the trailer He's at all. fucking Eggman. God damn Which it. is bullshit. What was the issue with that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. So no, because the problem I have with that is now in the newer Sonics, and I think, don't quote me on this, I almost think they actually went back and edited it out. They retconned it? 
Yes. They retconned Robotnik. Why? To Eggman. Is there like a secret meaning? I, that's your homework for the next till next time we do this. Figure out what the fuck is wrong with Robotnik. Dr. Robotnik. Got it. Do you flip it upside down? It says like fucking... Uh, like Satan's dick? Yeah. Fun? Like... God hates... No, no, no. I was asking if that's what you wanted me to do because that's what I like to do. Oh, well, you know, do your thing. All right, cool. Whatever. Hmm. Fuck you. Bye. <laughs>